Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in to Van House Conversions. So sorry we haven't posted a video in so long. It's been been a bit of a mad year, it probably has been for everyone. Uh, we've been absolutely chock a block with van conversions um, and we are now a two man team, which is really cool. So um, yeah, things have been really, really busy, but super exciting as well. Um, I'm proud to introduce our medium wheelbase crafter build that we actually completed just before Christmas, um, but there were a few little extras that we want to do, such as the new wheels and a few other things. Um, so here is the van tour. <laughs> As it's a medium wheelbase, we wanted to make use of every little bit of space, so we've opted to put a bench swivel seat in. Um, this is a really good bit of kit, really easy to turn around. Obviously, just have to undo the little knobs underneath and spins around on the spot. Um, takes about 30 seconds, so yeah, really worthwhile doing if you are opting to go with an open bulkhead. Um, a lot of people do like to keep this sealed off because obviously the back can then remain a bit more of an insulated space rather than having the heat loss from the windows and the, the front area but as it's a medium wheelbase we wanted to make use of every little bit of space so we've almost turned this into another room with a padded ceiling we've matched the, the paint with the rear of the van so we've got a painted tunnel roof ceiling and you can probably just see around here we've done a sort of well we just carried on the timber work round underneath here and then we've also got the awning pole there as well and then we've got in here we've got a really nice shower cubicle obviously all the doors handmade and then we've got this lovely copper pipe work inside all fully sealed obviously with a ceramic shower tray and then there's a little little space up here for the shower gels and shampoo and we've actually got the same shower head in the library bus ourselves and works really well and then we've got full kitchen so set for top line two burner hob again we've got this ourselves and use it every day it's a really good hob uh, they've also got a little cutlery jaw and an additional chopping board or worktop space probably more worktop space We'd rather they weren't chopping on it because we've put at least three coats of varnish on everything in this van so um, really brings out the grain of the wood as well. Uh, we've got a CRX 80 compressor fridge, really really efficient, runs on 12 volt. Uh, you can get them to run on 240 volt but again there's lithium batteries in this van so she really doesn't even need to think about plugging in or, or anything like that. So. Um, also thought as it's a small van doesn't mean it's got to have a small sink so we went with a really big stainless steel stink uh, it's got a 40 mil you know domestic sort of drain system so you know you're not going to be issues with things getting blocked and just will function as you would expect in a house um, also got the extendable head on the tap all the windows are all dometic sites that's four windows but again we've managed to lose all of this horrible plastic frame that a lot of people seem to keep but for me it's important that you still have the functionality of the blinds and the bug screen but you lose all of the plastic frame so it looks like a proper window um, in keeping with all of our builds really. Uh, we've got a fully mosaic tile with splashback as well uh, with a two gang socket running off the inverter so USBs and two three pin sockets. Uh, we've got lighting up here which controls the uh, two sets of external lights, passenger and driver's side um, as well as the bed light and then this is the switch for the uh, socket at the end of the bed which currently isn't there because we are waiting for that to arrive but that will be a two, uh, two socket USB 12 volt um, and then um, up here we've got uh, two 
just sort of storage crates. We opted to go with open storage rather than going with you know big built-in cupboards, just because it. I think personally, it really you lose the open feeling of the van really, and also it's, a, it's only a medium wheelbase, so we really wanted to make sure it felt airy in here. Um, hence the white ceiling. Um, but yeah, these are big, big crates, as you can see, all about kind of like almost like an open pantry. Um, we've got a Max Air roof fan again with our own wooden frame, so we've lost the kind of plastic shroud that it normally would have. Um, and you obviously have a remote for this fan as well. To be honest, this is the only roof fan we really recommend fitting because you can drive with it open. It's got a built-in rain shield as well, and it's mega, mega powerful for the amount of um, power that it uses. Um, now, the lady also has a cat, so one of the criteria of this build was to allow for the cat to have a litter tray and cat food and all that sort of stuff. So, we've got storage for the cat litter and stuff like that in here, and then we've also got the cat litter tray area with a vent, um, and then this can also be seating. And then up above, we've got a high level bed, so requires a bit of monkeying to get up there, but um, and it works out being really, really lovely actually, because we've got a full um, Hecky 2 skylight above, which really brings in loads of light, and you can pretty much climb out onto the roof as well through there if you really wanted to, but not that we'd really recommend that, but I'm sure she'll end up up there, up there at some point. Um, and my thinking was, just because it's a small van, why can't you have a bedroom and a lounge? So we've got the bed upstairs with live edge cedar obviously at the back. Again, something that we like to use quite a lot. We've got a local supplier, which we always use. And um, underneath we've got kind of, this is a day bed sort of sofa area. So um, idea being is that you should have an L shape sofa here. She's got her closed storage cupboards. All go all the way down here so she can ram it full of stuff so you can you know, put shoes in there, jumpers, all sorts of stuff go right in the bottom and then little open cubbies for all sorts of little trinkets and stuff like that and obviously there will be sofa foam up to about here so that will be I think this space will be perfect for just popping your phone and stuff like that in um, whilst, it's, whilst it's on charge. Um, there's also a two gang socket just down here and again we've done a lot of lovely sort of timber finishing which you know obviously takes a lot of time but it's one of the bits that we really enjoy doing um, and we've got through here another little cupboard which has got the 105 litre inboard water tank with a shore flow pump and then underneath here we've got well the pipe work predominantly for the Propex underbody heater which is an HS 2211 so two kilowatt as well as two 100 amp hour lithium batteries um, under this side we've got all of the kind of electricals and Victron battery charger, inverter, solar charge controller and all of our wiring. Again, we take real pride in the wiring being as neat as possible and we make sure that everything is heat shrinked and done properly. Um, and another thing we wanted to do was make sure there was some kind of toilet. So we've included a little hidden away compost toilet, which is by the separators made by Kildwick over in Germany. There's a couple of companies out there, but we opt for the Kildrick separators because they're really, really tough. So, not that you will be putting them through much abuse, but at least there is an emergency loo if needed. And we also left a little bit of a cubby under here in case uh, she decides to put a little cat bed under there, or probably a good place just to put your shoes or magazines or whatever. And there's another switch here which controls the light underneath. And as you can see, we've really gone to town with all the finishing in here so at least three coats of varnish and everything in here to really make the grain pop again coupled with a lot of us our sort of treating and burning of wood just to make it look its best and then also there's a switch which powers the extractor fan under the sofa so obviously if you use the toilet you can leave that on for 15 minutes or so so we've got the inverter on and off switch, as well as heater inlet and outlet. And then also down here, we've got double bin, as well as gas manifolds and all the under sink plumbing. 
um, and we've got another little cute drawer for pots and pans and all that sort of stuff. Um, the oven is a Thetford Duplex 36 litre, uh, it's got 12 volt ignition and then obviously enough space to put a full pizza or a chicken or god knows what, you know, a real functional full size oven in my opinion. Um, which again we weren't sure we were going to be able to fit coupled with everything else. Um, and then obviously we've all you know, again got framed wind over here with bug screen and blind. And then also if we swap round. We've also got this table down. So we've got this folding down table just for food and stuff once they're outside. And then we carried on the framed window sort of theme throughout really. So every window in here is fully framed. Um, still with use of all the blinds and, and bug screen. So you can fully black the van out. And yeah, once you're all shut in here, it's really cosy actually. Um, it doesn't feel like a medium wheelbase fan, especially with the seats spun around. You know, from from the bulkhead to the rear, I think you've got you know about three and a half meters. Um, with this, it just makes it feel almost like a long wheelbase, to be honest. Um, and it does give you a real sense that you've got a separate one up here as well. We actually had five of us in there, I think, on the day that she came to see it when it was completed. We were quite surprised how spacious it felt with even five of us in it. Um, so once we've got the sofa foam and the mattress in, I think it'd be really a rock and roll. We should have a you know, a really nice place to travel and see the world and um, if that's something that people can still do after all this coronavirus stuff. Um, but yeah, we've got another van that we um, we actually finished uh, just after this one, which we filmed already, so I will be uploading that next week. Um, so do expect a lot more videos from us and more, more, more stuff on our Instagram as well, um, as we have been absolutely money. But um, yeah, I'm going to make a real effort to make sure to get back on the YouTube channel. So expect to see a lot more of the workshop which has also been revamped as well since you last saw it um, so that should be quite cool and um, we've just given everything a real revamp in the workshop and we're just yeah really really nicely set up now um, and also James is another guy who's working with us now so I'll introduce him on another video and um, yeah stay tuned for the next one and thank you for sticking with us it's been yeah we've had a lot of support from you guys and thank you for all the subscribers that have joined us over the last year even though we've not posted any videos so um, yeah so I'll see you on the next one and um, stay tuned for more bank conversions.